what is going on everyone so here again with the redesigning of another application from scratch and the choice for this series is whole foods so in case you're not familiar essentially is a grocery store pretty say high quality store as well so it's not like the great value cheap one but it's also not actually i consider this probably like on the top tier of nicer more pricier grocery store just depending on where you're from but overall it's basically a grocery store if you're not familiar with uh company whole foods and if you're from the states then obviously you probably heard of this and uh they were acquired from amazon amazon did purchase this you know a few years back for a lot of money but basically they integrated where you can see here too the um signing with amazon so if you're a amazon member amazon prime you get a couple of discounts and whatnot but reason why i chose this application is because it had a lot of reviews on the app store which i'll show you in just a second that were perfect for adding new stuff to it so in case you weren't familiar with what i'm doing i made a, another video redesigning another company's application you can watch it on my channel i'll put a link down below in the description you can watch the first one so this is essentially the second one and here's the whole foods app showcasing it right now like see if you have your um you can't really see it here but the prime code and then you scan it for savings and then they have like sales and whatnot and then like a shopping list and in my opinion when i looked at the app it's it's pretty basic it's it's just literally nothing you can do on this app besides like very minimal stuff so if i go to this app store the reason why i chose this because when i was scrolling through on the top 100 shopping apps the top like probably 50 plus have the most incredible ratings like 4.8 4.7 and then you see whole foods and i'm thinking yo this is a big company you know amazon's under their their name now and they have 2.3 stars on a at least the apple store i don't know about android but uh quite a bit of ratings and they're in the top 100 so i went through the app looks all right when you uh see it like presented with this with like these background with like you know these food and fruits and whatnot but when you actually download the application it's it's very very minimal and that's reason why this rating up here makes sense and why i wanted to make a video for this one in particular because we scroll down literally you can see people coming this was what this was back in um june so this one's a little outdated but i, I can see if um let me hit see all actually all right so now i can actually see more ratings on here so it's perfect all right so you can see these are pretty recent you know just a few months back and some of them are a little older like 2018 but uh regardless it seems like they're pretty much the same and well I, i'm not gonna go here and sit here and show you like every single one some of the reviews were like a uh had to do with the actual store which is interesting there's no like majority of it is dealing with like annoyance with the app but this was like one i noticed that had nothing to do with the application functionality and then like here no apple support basic app uh let's see there's there's things that i uh noticed see let's see where is it at kind of hard to see on this one but basically i did the work for you guys and i went to recent and also most critical and I just straight up copied exactly what people said. So you can see this was like 20, 20 plus people. And there was common traits that you probably can see right now. But uh, I'm just go through really quickly. And no way to find item you want. There's no search function. And this one's useless. He talks about how you could literally just call the store and figure out if they have this product. Because you can't, you can't search on the app for this one. Which is kind of crazy. So if like... Uh, familiar with like target uh there's also another app called instacart they're, they're incredible for this type of uh design here you literally the home page is the prime code the second page is this savings thing right here and then the third one is a list like a uh a shopping list except you can't you can't find products in the store it's like custom as if you're like typing on notepad basically and you just type it and it, it enters there's no connection with the actual whole foods items and then accounts just like your account like literally there's nothing on there but account but uh that's basically the app so that's why you can see why a lot of people are upset because you would think you can like look up food items sale prices in stock you know types of brands and whatnot but you can't so if you go through my list i'm not gonna go through every single one just to save you guys some time but uh basically see here no search function uh, this one's signing in, not that big. Uh, let's see. 
They said Wegmans. I looked up Wegmans. I think I looked at the wrong one because the one he recommended or she was not not that good looking. But uh, let's see. This one too. Just talking about not user friendly, useless app, um, and disbelief, limited. You get the point. So when you go through, the main things I noticed was one, there's no search option. So that's one of the features that I definitely want to include in my redesign. Same with um, you can't search. So similar thing. And then same again, searching. So the biggest, biggest thing is the search, which is most likely what I'm going to design the majority of the app around. And I've already started designing this application. I'm not going to show you the designs in this video because I want to make it in a separate video just to show you from scratch. But just note that I already started this. So um, I'm not just like talking about the reviews yet. So you'll see it in just a couple of days. So just make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. But it's interesting how nice it looks on their website like i'm not gonna lie this presentation's all right it looks pretty decent like looks like a great app but then when you actually download it the use case of it it's completely different so that's one thing i'm gonna talk more about in my redesign but other than that if you guys did have any additional applications out there like ones in particular that are well known out there because it's kind of hard to do it on a uh, Brands that don't have many reviews, cause see, like if you go through here, like they have like a bunch of reviews I can actually do. PF Changs was the one I did before, and it's not the easiest because I think I only had like ten reviews or so. So I mean, I had limited, I had limited data to do review on or redesign. Whereas Hovo was like they have like infinite, like so much content I could use for to input into the redesign, and these are like actual users, not like just hypothetical made up people. Like these are legit people using this application that need to use the application basically for them to enjoy the experience with Whole Foods. And so if you did have any application ideas or even websites, websites probably better because I've been already done two apps right now. Let me know in the comments below any suggestions here too. And aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next video where I showcase my redesign.